I feel like whenever most people think of like crock pot meals, they think of the fall and like warm hearty soups and like cozy comfort meals. But I love using my crock pot in the summer. It is perfect on like a hot summer day. You don't have to heat up your kitchen and you can still have like a full flavorful meal that's lighter and more refreshing and just like perfect for summertime. So I've got three recipes to share with you today, two dinners and one dessert. So for this first one, we are going to make a shrimp scampi. So my bunkie is so excited. This is like one of his favorite meals. And the recipe that I was like looking at, she actually used spaghetti squash for her noodles of this. And she put her spaghetti squash in the crock pot. It cooked all day. And then when she took it out, she was able to just like get the noodles. And then the actual shrimp scampi recipe only takes like an hour and a half. So then she could just throw that right in it's ready to go so like super simple we don't have spaghetti squash so we're gonna make our own noodles but we're gonna go ahead and get everything in our crock pot just want to pop in here and say a huge thank you to Catalina Crunch for sponsoring today's video I am so excited to tell you guys about our new favorite cookies and I'll share those with you in just a little bit so Bunky's doing <laughs> the dirty work and he is how do you say it peeling these shrimp peeling these shrimp I've also the vein in them and don't mind his purple thumb we had a little bit of a uh snafu a snafu but the car door <laughs> so this is this is actually still semi painful having to squeeze the tail off here it's like day three and i'm pretty sure his thumbnail is <laughs> probably gonna come off at some yeah, point yeah it, it didn't start out that way did it no but yeah i'm excited got me some shrimp peel in here and okay first of all tell them what you feel about the seafood in this area y'all if when when people I think when you hear and people tell you about the quality of seafood in especially like the Gulf, especially when you're here, it's no joke. No. Like it is significantly better than anything I've ever had. And I think too what helps is like the between restaurants and stuff, like the level of competition between them, because like you, yeah. they basically know that they have to have the best like, freshest. Yeah, they got to be putting out good stuff because all of the other places too have access to this wonderful stuff. So, and I mean, yeah, every restaurant we've been to, Bunky's like, this is the best seafood yeah. ever. And I feel like we got this um, shrimp at Publix, but I feel like it's going to be really good, like quality shrimp as well. Yeah, even uh, and what I kind of wanted to do, I, I kind of wanted to go and find like a little local seafood store mm -hmm. and actually get the shrimp from, but um, out of convenience, since we were already there, we just yeah. went ahead and got them from Publix. <laughs> but they look but really they, good. These do look actually really good. I mean, that's like... Uh, that's, that's a good a, size a good, shrimp. Yeah, that's a good looking shrimp. So to my crock pot, I'm gonna add about a fourth cup of chicken stock, and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. That's probably <laughs> more than a fourth a cup, but it'll be just fine. I think with that, you can actually be a little bit more heavy-handed with the. With I think the broth. so too, because like the more sauce you have, like mm -hmm. the more scrumptious this is gonna be. Yep. And then I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of butter in there. This butter's already softened. <laughs> my word. <laughs> Okay, that's going in and then I'll go ahead and cut my lemon we're gonna add the juice of this lemon in you know what I was laughing at <laughs> oh <laughs> what we have a, a wine opener in here but not a can, no opener. can opener priorities <laughs> yeah Okay, we're going to do about half a cup of white wine, and I just have like a Chardonnay because that's what was on sale, and I like Chardonnay, so I can drink it. That's good. Okay, and then we're going to add garlic in here, and you tell me, Bunky, like, do you like your shrimp scampi more garlicky? The, that's like one, one of, of the, best parts. the best parts of shrimp scampi is the just ridiculous amount of garlic that I you, agree. you don't feel guilty about eating when no. you're eating anything scampi. Yes. And I feel like if you had, um, fresh garlic, like that would be even better in here mm -hmm. because we're camping and we're just like, you know, having what is easy. I just have our jarred garlic, but I would even put like a couple of cloves of just like fresh garlic in there. It's like a whole, yeah. So good. Like whole cloves. Right. So I'm going to do like a heaping tablespoon. Is that good or more oh no you need like two of those okay we'll do two yeah, do, do another <laughs> one of those there we go Woo, it's gonna be garlicky optional but if you want to give like a little bit of like a kick a little bit of heat add in some red pepper flakes so i saw those sitting on the the counter here and i uh -huh. was like is that really supposed to go in there or no but then i was very excited when i saw it because i like but not a lot just no, like just you know, a little just yeah. give it just the tiniest little bit of spice it's like a subtle we yes. want it we, we don't want to know it's there but we want to taste it yes agreed okay so just like 
Is that good? Yeah, that's probably good. But that's going to add just... So much. Mm-hmm. Okay, little drizzle of olive oil. And then, you can tell me if you say no to this, but I feel like my favorite Kinder seasoning, like the garlic herb, sea salt, and lemon, Ooh. that just, to me, sounds like it goes so go with shrimp. Yeah. So just a little bit of that in there. Yeah, do just a, maybe like, uh, what that? you got there? Yeah, that looks good. Because the recipe calls for like salt and pepper, but I just feel like this would give it even just like more flavor. Mm-hmm. We are... We are building something good down in there. It's going to be good. <laughs> and then I've just got some parsley here that I'm going to give a little bit of a rough chop to. And we'll add that in. Also, I don't know if I said this, but I only used um, half of a lemon, not the whole thing. And then last but not least, the star of the show, we got to add our shrimp in here. And then we're just going to pop a lid on this crock pot. And this is going to cook for like an hour and a half. And then it's going to be ready. And y'all, I have a feeling this is going to be just so scrumptious. That looks like... Just... Amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. And I should tell you, I'm going to cook this on high. But if you want to do it on low, it would just cook for like two and a half hours instead of one to one and a half hours. Okay, so this has been on for about an hour. I put it on warm about 20 minutes ago. So it's been about almost an hour and a half at this point. But it smells so good, y'all. I wish, like, you could smell it through this camera. And it looks amazing. The shrimp look perfectly cooked. I've got our linguine cooked over here. So we are ready to plate it up. That's your sauce right there. That is the juice. Oh, look at those shrimp. Wow, you see that? Yes, it looks perfect. If you're, um, if you've been watching our other <laughs> videos that we've been like cooking in the camper, I have a running list of things that like you don't think of but that you need, and a like big spoon is on my list now. <laughs> yeah, we got that can opener, all kinds of things. Okay, we got our juice in there, and then our finishing touch is just a big handful of Parmesan cheese, y'all. This was so simple, and it's like a delicious, gourmet, beautiful pasta dish. You know one of the best things about pasta dishes? What? It's just getting in there, and then the spin. Yes. That's very good, Bon. So good? Yeah. I feel like a very much uh, lighter, more like fresh pasta, you know, like perfect for summer. Yeah. I mean, it's surprising how uh, I underestimated the garlic and the lemon kind of showing through. Yeah. And then that little parm on top, the mm. parsley. How's the shrimp? Oh, it's delicious. So the shrimp did not get overcooked. No, the shrimp are... Um, we were a little nervous that they would overcook, but I think that they ended up just being perfect. Yeah, I mean, you kind of got to, I guess, know your crock, like your slow cooker or whatever. I think because it's kind of like almost poaching in that liquid versus like just sitting there searing. Right. It can kind of stay in the hour, hour and a half. Quick, easy, delicious, bright, fresh. Don't have to like spend a bunch of time in the kitchen. No. Great summer recipe. Yeah, this is good. Okay, are y'all surprised to see me in my regular kitchen at home? We are back from our trip and it feels really good to be home. We are both so happy to be here. We went on a little golf cart ride this morning. We we're like, oh my gosh, we live here. Like, we just love where we live so much and it just still feels like we're on vacation because it's just so beautiful here. So anyway, we went to Brown Fox, got coffee. It's been such a good day. Anywho, I'm gonna get dinner on for tonight and dessert. I actually brought my little crock pot from the camper back home with me because y'all, I love this size crock pot. It is perfect for us. And I was like, you know what? I'm probably gonna use this a lot more. So anyway, I'm gonna put our dinner in our regular crock pot. And then when that only has about an hour or two hours left, I'm gonna get dessert on. Because I told y'all we're gonna make a dessert in our crock pot as well. It's gonna be so, so good. But for this dinner recipe, we are gonna make like a peach balsamic basil onion chicken like it just screams summertime and I feel like this might be one of Bunky's favorite crock pot recipes I've ever made it's much lighter I think it's gonna have so much just like really really good flavor in there so let's go ahead and get started on that first so I'm just gonna start by kind of slicing our onion into 
not too thin, not too thick slices because they will kind of cook down all day with that chicken. And I'm going to do this entire onion because yes. since they're in slices, I can kind of pick through the onion. I think I'm just going to kind of slice these down the middle. And then we'll add those to the crock pot in a second. I'm going to go ahead and slice our peaches. So now I have my crock pot turned on high and I'm going to kind of give it a good spray. It'll get our chicken in here. I feel like this is going to give it just such a little zip and a lot of flavor. So we're going to add just a little bit of balsamic vinegar. I'm pretty much making this recipe up, but I feel like these flavors are just going to be so good together. That's probably good. And then to season my chicken, of course, I'm going to use my Kinder's garlic herbs, sea salt with lemon, but whatever is like your favorite um, seasoning to flavor chicken, use that. Unless it's like mesquite barbecue. <laughs> whatever like garlic herb seasoning that you love, I would say would be fine. Okay, onions and peaches are going in. And this is gonna be such a pretty dish. Like, I feel like those peaches are gonna give it the prettiest color. And then we're not done, we're gonna add a little bit more color. I'm gonna put some fresh basil in here. This basil smells so good. This whole entire thing smells good. The peaches, everything. I'm gonna pop a lid on. It's gonna cook on high for about four hours. Or you can cook it on low for like six. We'll check on it a little bit and we'll probably serve it either over rice or like mashed potatoes. Okay, just kidding. I actually just decided in this very moment, I'm going to add just a few little red pepper flakes just to give it the tiniest bit of heat. You do not have to do that. I just know that we'll like it with a little um, kick to it. So, okay, now we can cook. <laughs> okay, while those are cooking, I want to pop in here and just say a big thank you again to Catalina Crunch for sponsoring today's video. When I tell y'all that we love these cookies, we like seriously love them. We took them on our trip with us and it was just like so nice to have a cookie that we did not feel guilty about eating. And we had these on the road trips, in the pool bags, like you name it. We took these cookies everywhere. And if you know my Bunky, he like loves cookies. He is a cookie monster. After dinner, that is one of his very favorite things. Now, I can't decide Side, which one is my favorite because I love the peanut butter. I also love the chocolate vanilla. They're both like so good. Probably the peanut butter is my favorite. I feel like every time I go to get these, this is like the one that I reach for. I don't think that there's even anything left in the chocolate mint. We'll ask Bunky what his favorite is, but if I had to guess, I'm gonna say these. There's like three cookies left in here. <laughs> Anytime we got in the trucks, like going on a road trip, Bunky is always like, make sure you have a couple of those chocolate mint cookies for me. I'm like, okay, Bunky. Um, peanut butter, it just tastes so, like you would never know that it is like a healthy cookie. It genuinely tastes so good. Okay, which Catalina Crunch cookie is mm -hmm. your favorite? I think the chocolate mint is my favorite. It's a really good balance of the, like, the chocolate and the mint are very balanced together. I also like the peanut butter one too. We both love that yeah, one. I'm kind of sad right now because we're getting down to the end of the box. There's like two left in there. <laughs> that one is really, really good too. Mm. Did y'all hear the crunch? <laughs> and with this one, like I was saying, it's just the right combination of chocolate and mintiness. Yes, agreed. We love so many Catalina Crunch products, but especially the cookies. They have been great to throw in our beach bag for a poolside treat and perfect for our road trips whenever we need a little pick-me-up. And the best part is that we don't have to feel bad about eating them. Catalina Crunch cookies are packed with plant protein and fiber from clean ingredients. They have four grams of protein, three grams of fiber, and two grams of sugar. The variety pack includes the four best-selling flavors and all four flavors are inspired by nostalgic favorites from our childhood and they taste nearly identical but you can enjoy them guilt-free there's no artificial sweeteners flavors or colors of any kind they are low sugar low carb keto friendly and higher in protein than similar snacks so be sure to click below and use my code jessica o to get 15 percent off plus free shipping on any catalina crunch cookies pack and an even bigger discount if you subscribe. So try a variety pack that includes a selection of their best-selling flavors, or if you already have a favorite flavor, order a four pack of that and be sure to take advantage of this while it lasts. Okay, so chicken only has about probably an hour, hour and a half left, and y'all, it smells 
so good. Punky came in here and he was like, I cannot wait to have this. Um, I have been like flipping them every once in a while just to make sure I get like all of those juices on both sides. And then I'll just take, you know, our onions and peaches and kind of just lay those on top. So we are gonna make like a summer berry cobbler and you're gonna need a pound cake. And we're just gonna cut this up into like bite size one inch cubes. And I just got this from like the bakery section in my grocery store. Well, that worked out perfect. This thing was, it's actually called a butter pound cake and it cut like butter. So that was literally perfect. So this is what you want, just like tiny little um, like cubes. And then we had these strawberries in the freezer, so they're pretty much thawed. I went ahead and washed them and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of cut them up into quarters. These are like massive <laughs> strawberries. So I'll cut these up and then we're also gonna add blueberries and raspberries. Okay, super teeny light spray of Pam. Pound cake is going in. Y'all, this truly could not be like any easier. We're gonna add in our strawberries, our blueberries, and our raspberries. I've got like half of a lemon here. I'm just gonna squeeze the juice of this right on top. We're gonna sprinkle in like half a cup of sugar. And now for the start of this recipe, we're gonna add in some mascarpone cheese. I'm gonna do like a bunch of big dollops just like right on top and it'll kind of like melt in there. <gasps> it's gonna be so good. And then also once this cooks for about an hour, we're gonna top it with some granola and I'll let that kind of like cook in there for just a few minutes to get mm. it like really toasty. Yeah. And then we will top it with ice cream. Oh my. It is going to be like insanely delicious and this is so simple. I feel like if you're having any type of like cookout or like you want to take something like to a little party or get together this is the dish to make okay <laughs> and that's just gonna like melt into all that pound cake huh mm -hmm. oh so good okay popping a lid on this is on high and i'm gonna let it cook for about an hour our chicken looks amazing i i just made us some like instant mashed potatoes okay because if you know you know mm -hmm. <laughs> they're, they're bunky's favorite and they are really good and these pieces of chicken like you don't have to shred it you can try and keep it like in its whole form which i think bunky likes better and i'm just gonna kind of put it on the mashed potatoes a little bit get some yeah. of those juices on there and then get like all those onions and peaches and just put those like right on top and then we're also not done we have a topper here. We do? Yeah. Are you just like, oh, this cannot? No, I cannot. I cannot wait. Wow, it looks so good. Finish this off. If you have like a balsamic glaze, you could do like a little drizzle right over top. Tell me that does not look amazing. Mm, <gasps> that's a nice way to finish this off. And then I'm gonna put like a fresh piece of basil right there on top. Ah. Beautiful perfection. I love, I love the basil you got on top there. I can actually smell the fragrance of the basil. The basil smells so good. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this peach is so tender. And Bunky loves like caramelized onions, so I feel like, oh man, the two I, together. I got a little bit of everything right here. I like that a lot. <laughs> I tasted the chicken a minute ago, and I love that the peaches gave it just like this little bit of sweetness. Right, and then the onions are kind of like, Offsetting a little bit of that too with some savory factor. Yeah, and the balsamic gives like a little zip mm -hmm. Tang almost um, Can you taste a little bit of heat in there or no because I put a few your pepper flakes, but not very much I can't taste any heat. Like it's not like obvious next time. I think I could put like a few more in there ma'am I Peaches are under Underappreciated at least in our household it's like one of those things that I like, I really like, but I just never I never think to, to get buy. them. I know, I like the juice, like getting some of the juice in with the potato too. Mm-hmm. I almost wanna to go to like a peach stand, like a peach farm, like pick our own. I've mm. seen, like we saw so many while traveling. Mm -hmm. We gotta stop into one next time. We know Georgia yeah. is like the, the peach state. That's right. Okay, let's check on this little summer cobbler. Ooh, bunky. Wow. Oh, that's good. 
That cheese totally just melted in there. Yeah, it did. Oh my word, this is gonna be so yummy. Okay, let's go ahead and add our granola to the top. And I just have like a vanilla chocolate chip granola. I hope that sounded really good with this. See the chocolate will give it a nice little. Mm. A little extra something. Yeah. Chocolate and strawberries go together, you know? I know. That's why I think it's going to be so good. Okay, I'm going to let this hang out for just a few minutes, and then we'll plate this up and add our ice cream on top. This smells so good. I thought we had some vanilla ice cream, but we only have, like, this brown sugar chocolate chip, which I think is going to be even more delicious on there. So, I'm going to add a little bit of ice cream to the top. I think the ice cream a little taste. It actually kind of... Uh, the flavors? It, it seems like it'll go really well with uh, granola and mm. all of this. Like, it's actually adding to the specialness of it, you know? Yes. Give us the taste test, Bunky. This, <laughs> all right, I mean, just my goodness. I just took a bite, so I'm excited to see what you say, and I want to see if we have like the same thought. All I can say is, wow. <laughs> Do you know what I love? Let me tell you my two things, and you tell me how you feel. Okay. I actually love the little bit of chocolate with it. Yeah. I can't explain it, but it's just like something about that to me. I don't know. It just gave, gave like a little bit more depth or something. But it's all the textures. It's the crunch of the granola, the coldness of the ice cream, the warm of like the fruit and the um, pound cake. I, I literally want to pound the, the counter right now. <laughs> like... It's really reminded me of strawberry shortcake. Yes, but better. But better because of that mascarpone. Oh, that it gives like this creaminess. And the strawberries being warm, just warmed up like that. Oh my gosh, I know. And then, I mean, I don't even know if you need ice cream. Like, right. It, it doesn't. It doesn't hurt anything. Right. But the pound cake with that mascarpone and then warm strawberry. Mm. And the blueberry just kind of like bursts with flavor. Wow. But I mean, the lemon gave it like a brightness. Yeah. And then the granola does add a nice little crunch, like a little change of pace. You and know? it's not overly sweet. Mm -mm. I, I, this, okay. When you told, when you told me about this, I was like, I don't know if that's really going to turn out too well. You always are questioning my crock pot mills, Bunky. If y'all been around here for a while, you know he always questions my crock pot I, mills. I do because some of it just seems a little bit strange, but this is so good. It's delicious. That's like one that y'all have to make. Mmm. Okay, three great summer crock pot recipes. Tell me in the comments if you like to use your crock pot during the summer as well. I'm telling y'all, it is the way to go. You don't have to heat up your kitchen. And you can find some like lighter, more like healthy <laughs> options to put in your crock pot. And these were just so good. You're gonna love them. Tell me if you make them. Don't forget to check out Catalina Crunch down below. You don't wanna miss that discount plus free shipping. I love you guys so much. Subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.